Welcome back to Cardio News Channel 13 at noon. Hope that your Tuesday is treating you well so far. I understand that we have a mixture of sunshine and clouds elsewhere across southern Colorado, but for this far southeastern portion of the state, that's where we have some building clouds, some blustery conditions, along with some pockets of light to moderate rain. I want to show you this overcast scene from our Vieira Wireless Neighborhood Weather Network camera in Holly. This is in Prowers County, of course. You can see a lot of clouds building in that region, and I'll be showing you where some of those showers are happening on live HD Doppler radar coming up in a moment. But first, a look at those temperatures. We're a bit cooler compared to where we were yesterday. We're in the 80s for the I-25 corridor, 50s and 60s for the mountains, low 70s for Salida right now, with some of the 80s for the central eastern plains, mid-60s right now for Springfield, and that's all due to some of those uh, clouds that are building in Baca County. Live HD Doppler radar does a good job of showing us where some of those showers are happening. We're seeing some of these uh, light showers developing over the southwestern mountains, as well as in Baca County. Let's zoom in just a bit further. I want to show you the overall direction of these showers, generally moving off to the north and to the northeast. Now, remember that this moisture source is from a tropical disturbance that has been sweeping up from the south and has continued to move off to the north and to the east. Colorado Springs and in Pueblo right now staying dry. We have a mixture of sunshine and clouds. In fact, it feels quite nice out there. But let me show you just how some of these showers and storms play out so you know what to expect. A quarter before three indicates that the majority of these showers and storms are taking place along and south of high. Highway 50. And today, Mother Nature will really be uh, uh, focusing attention for the southeastern plains, far eastern plains in general, uh, near La Junta, as well as Kim. And that's where we can see some pockets of heavy rain. So we're going to really need what need to watch out for that. For folks in the eastern plains, make sure you keep the umbrella handy as we go throughout the afternoon. Here's a look at 5 p.m. You still see some of these showers and storms continuing for the eastern plains, also west of I-25, primarily in the San Luis Valley and areas in the higher terrain. A look later on into the evening indicates that a bullseye develops for Teller and El Paso County, so just a heads up, although primarily these showers will stay south of Highway 50, we can't rule out some stray storms for El Paso, Teller, and Pueblo County, so just best to stay weather away as you go throughout the afternoon and into the evening. Here's a look at rain tracker. Projected rain totals all the way through tomorrow morning. And you see that we're looking at rain accumulation across the board, but primarily focused for the southeastern corner of the state. Now, we do keep in the chance for these scattered storms through your Wednesday, but things look to dry out starting on Thursday. In fact, in Colorado Springs, we're keeping things dry all the way through next Tuesday. Temperatures over the next couple of days will teeter in the upper 70s and low 80s, with some rebounding temperatures over the weekend, keeping in the partly sunny skies through the start of next work week. 85 Tomorrow in Pueblo, we keep in the low to mid 80s Thursday and Friday. Warmer temperatures in store for the Steel City over the weekend and into the start of next work week. In Canyon City, 81 will be tomorrow's high temperature, and we keep those low 80s in place Thursday and Friday before boosting those temperatures Saturday and Sunday with a mixture of sunshine and clouds Thursday, lasting all the way through next Tuesday. Finally, in Teller County, 72 is tomorrow's high temperature, low 70s Thursday and Friday. In Teller County, we have the chance for showers and storms tomorrow as well as Thursday, and we add in the chance for those storms with an incoming cold front on Tuesday. We'll have a look at that afternoon forecast coming up next. Who's ready for autumn? Oh my goodness, happening tomorrow. Yeah. Better be ready. Gotta be. I say bring yeah. it. Thanks, Abby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A dog from Colorado.